You have repeatedly we, criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing extremist right. groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right like me to condemn? White Proud supremacists boys. and right Proud, Proud boys. boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. His this is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing no, problem. Ahead, white supremacist. Antifa's an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it, Not malicious. That's what oh, his right. it's an idea. FBI... His okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, then, you know what? No, no, we're done, we're done, sir. Everybody, we're moving on to the next. We're moving on to the next. That's not an idea. Everybody Antifa in your administration. I mean, what can you say at this point? We keep giving Donald Trump, the media does at least, an opportunity to denounce white supremacy. He said there were very good people on both sides in Charlottesville. He's repeated and doubled down on many of his stances similar to this. And then we have that la last night again. The media keeps trying to make two plus two equal five when it equals four. Donald Trump is in favor of white supremacy. He is a white supremacist, even if he's not a card carrying KKK member. His ideology is white supremacy. So I, I don't know what can be gained by continuing to ask Trump to make these statements. But yeah, that was bad, though. That was bad. He clearly dodged the question multiple times. Chris Wallace was clear and then Biden piled on. He couldn't do it. You guys didn't hear it, like didn't miss it. He didn't denounce white supremacy. And then he signaled to Proud Boys who I've had interactions with at some of these Trump rallies, by the way, and protests. Yeah, they are a little dangerous. <laughs> they have committed violence in the past and they're the kind of Kyle Rittenhouse types that might take action, especially as Trump is planting the seeds that this election is going to be rigged and stolen and you can't trust the ballots and then is telling his supporters to go to polling sites and watch over people as they vote. And then saying to the Proud Boys, signaling them, oh, and they heard it, by the way, they heard it. They were immediately, you know, excited by Trump saying this stuff and signaling to them and mentioning them on national TV. How proud those proud boys must be. Freshly brought to the world's attention by Donald Trump's refusal to condemn their associations with white supremacist ideology during Tuesday night's US presidential debate, the proud boys were created by the Canadian British right-wing activist and Vice Magazine co-founder Gavin McInnes in 2016 in the lead up to Trump's election as US president. The group, which admits men only, was classified in 2018 by the FBI as an extremist group, while the Southern Poverty Law Center listed as a hate group. The Anti-Defamation League describes the group as misogynistic, Islamophobic, transphobic, and anti-immigration. To join the group, members must make an oath. I am a proud Western chauvinist. I refuse to apologize for creating the modern world. While the group maintains it is not racist and simply want to hark back to traditional Western values, its worldview inc incorporates elements of the white genocide conspiracy theory. Members are pro-gun rights, against feminism and gender equality, and take a libertarian stance on issues such as welfare. The Proud Boys immediately celebrated the president's comment and posts on the social media platform Telegram. One Proud Boys group added the phrase, stand back, stand by, to their logo. Another post was a message to Trump. Standing down and standing by, sir. Jesus. The Proud Boys have a history of street violence against left-wing activists and protest movements. In recent months, they have repeatedly turned to oppose Black Lives Matter or Antifa demonstrations, with their presence often sparking violent clashes. The groups are identifiable by their uniform of red Make America Great Again caps and black and yellow Fred Perry polo shirts. The sports clothing manufacturer recently withdrew the, the design, citing its unwillingness to be associated with the group. A clothing manufacturer is not willing to be associated with Proud Boys, but the president is. He's willing to signal to them on national television. <laughs> the whole night, Trump was 
trying to say, hey, black people, you know, Biden, he locked so many black Americans up with the crime bill and how horrible was that, which is true. And then in the same sentence, he would say, Biden, he's not in favor of law and order and he's weak on crime. Wait, which one is it? Was he overly draconian or was he completely against law and order and weak on crime? He can't make a distinction, Trump. It's, it's everything and it's everything and nothing. He'll speak out of both sides of his mouth to achieve the end of making the American people think Trump strong, Trump good. It's all bluster. But the thing that's real is the racism. That's real. Any person with a semblance of morality would condemn white supremacy. Any of them. Any of the regular Republicans that he ran against in 2016, Ted Cruz would have said, I, I don't believe in white supremacy. Trump's a different animal when it comes to pandering to racism because it is at the core of his ideology and he's also shameless and narcissistic. And he knows that's the core of his support. He can't alienate white supremacists. A low moment, the low moment, in a series of low moments from last night. 